guys oh welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel i know it's been a while it's been a long time i decided uh to just vlog today and to kind of talk about my med board since i know some people were really interested about that uh from the last video that i made which was a while ago and i don't have that much going on but i'm still taking it with me i just woke up and my tripod is like messed up and so i'm using my phone i am using skit script uh green tea cleanser this is a really good cleanser and if you don't already have an esthetician you should totally go get a facial find out what products work best for you um yeah my skin has been looking pretty good way better than before i am an esthetician now <laughs> and i am a nail tech it's crazy how so many things have changed right but um 2022 was a hard year for me a lot of shit happened and i think i was just lacking a lot of motivation to continue to do what i what i like and i honestly love talking to you guys i love informing you guys about whatever it is um and answering questions like i really do love it i love answering comments and i really miss this so i was like let me get back to it It's such a nice day today i love it um i'm just gonna do a little workout i have to look at my phone because um i had gotten this home program a long time ago and i've just never started it so it's actually my fifth day working out so i'm proud of that sets of each workout and i'm alternating i'm doing two first alternating and then i do two different exercises yeah i'm tired i'm tired i'm just gonna clean up a little bit um i only have one hour to get ready um i have an interview so I'm gonna clean up a little bit, hop in the shower, and get ready. So, I took a shower. I went ahead and went with the low ponytail. And looking professional? Hopefully. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> um, the interview did not, did not go. How I thought I would, how I thought it would go. Um, they said they don't have any more open positions, so great. <laughs> I actually have to go and pick up my little brother right now from the bus stop because my mom is running some errands. So I was thinking I'd give you guys a tour once I get back, but I do have a garage and I'm loving it. 
it because I'm always in my last apartment. Sorry. In my last apartment, I was always really scared that something was going to happen to my car. So... I just picked up my brother. <laughs> We're gonna go inside. Where did I put it? Yeah. Just leave them there. Alright, let's go. Hi. You're cooking for us? Oh, she has her headphones on. <laughs> we said something. We were like, hey, Kathy, and you didn't hear us. I was like... starving it's like 4 p.m already on the ahora si a tragar i'm gonna make myself a taquito mm. oh i wish i had some salsa oh my god Tortillas. I ate, I watched some Netflix, and then I had to call some insurances because I just got my car back. I was in, a, in an accident a while ago. So I got it back, and the most expensive one was a thousand and like 200 and something. I don't know, but I was like, you got me fucked up. Because what? You think I'm going to pay that? No. Mm -mm. Like, that's like paying for my car. Like, I don't own it. Bro. I'm done. So, the last thing I wanted to talk about was about my med board. Since it was the last thing that I literally... Oh. It was the last thing that I mentioned on my last video. Um, and a lot of people were like, what the heck? You're getting my boarded. Um, so I don't have specific questions. If you have any specific questions about the med board, um, just comment down below and I'll answer them. I was having a lot of stomach pain. So I was going to sick call a lot, going to the hospital, going to the emergency room. I was not having it. I was like, um, I'm trying to get out to be honest if I'm if I'm being completely honest um my goal was to get out they did a lot of x-rays ultrasounds and stuff like that they were like we can't find anything so we don't know what's wrong with you and they were like if you want we can do a laparoscopy surgery which is like they cut your stomach up and they put a camera down there like in your stomach to see what's wrong um, I guess they can just see better, better than like an x-ray, an ultrasound, any of those things. Um, so I was like, F it, let's do it. <laughs> and so I got surgery 
and they ended up finding out I have endometriosis um, and pelvic congestion syndrome. So they were like, you qualify for a med board. So if you want a med board, you can get out. And I was like, yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> um, so the whole process was about, I think it was 10 months. It took a while, almost a year. It took almost a year for me to get out lot because it was a lot of paperwork a lot of appointments and um it was stressful but you have something that's called a peblo it's a person that's assigned to your case for you to med board she does all your she or he does all your paperwork and informs you about the process and pretty much everything but towards the end um you have to get like all these signatures to sign out. You have to sign out of out of everything and um you have to turn in all of your equipment. They do give you an option if you want the army to like move all of your things and it's for free. So if you do have a lot of things then you can do that. But um I was I was going to drive home and my car was packed. But I felt like it was just gonna be easier for me to just pack everything and leave. So that's what I did. So now that I'm out, I have 60% disability. So I do get a monthly paycheck from the VA. So that's really helpful. I'm grateful for that. You have to take these classes also when, when you're getting med boarded. And it's really just classes, um, showing you uh what the va is about uh your benefits uh schooling like the va home loan pretty much like everything that will help you once you get out to transition into the civilian life like the gi bill you can get free schooling i definitely use that I got out and I went to beauty school to be an esthetician and a nail tech. I graduated and I got my certification and um, right now I just have to take my practical exam for the state so I can get my license. So yeah, that's pretty good. You have a lot of benefits when you get out to be honest and it's, it's great. We deserve it because... Pfft, we be going through a lot. <laughs> so yeah, totally we deserve it. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna show you guys around, give you guys a little tour. Um it's a little dirty, but don't mind it. Well, not dirty, but messy, a little messy. I was gonna clean up and I just haven't gotten into it. Okay. So this is my room. Nothing special. I'm I really suck at um decorating as you can see like i literally don't have any type of decorations i'm sorry this is the restroom i was actually in another apartment once i got out i got an apartment that was a one bedroom this is a two bedroom um i needed more space for my business this is the kitchen and these this is the washer and dryer and down here I have Fendi stuff, his litter, his food. And then this is the living room. And then up here, this is why I wanted more space. Um, You know, I don't have, I just started my business, so I don't have a lot of clients right now to rent out a suite. So I just felt like this was more convenient for me. And yeah, this is my little business room. Do facials right here and nails over here. This is my little sign. And there's a half bathroom over here. And this bathroom, it looks a little bit more. This is my business card. If you are in Houston, Texas, and you need an esthetician or a nail tech, hit me up. This is my business page. And this is my website. If you want to book, I'm just hiding my number because there's some crazy people on here but <laughs> but yeah hit me up and 
and I'm just gonna shower and enjoy my night, watch some Netflix, um, maybe journal, read a book, try to be, I'm trying to be a little bit more productive now, but yeah, I have to wake up early, so thank you for watching, I am so happy to be back. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and like this video and if you have any any questions about the army or the med board process or anything just comment down below bye